on everybody and welcome back to a new episode of GBA. In this video we're opening up the December Retro Game Treasure box. So for those of you that don't know, Retro Game Treasure is a monthly sub box that delivers mostly retro games to your house. And when I say mostly, if you go on their website and sign up for the service, uh, you can select to get games for systems ranging from the Atari Age of Gaming all the way to up to stuff like PS3 and Xbox 360 with most popular stuff in between. Uh, this is a great service. I absolutely love it. If you go into RetroGameTreasure.com, they also have a place where you input the games that you already have so you don't get duplicates. They have a quick questionnaire that you can fill out that you can tell them like what kind of genres you want to get uh, game-wise and what kind of genres you don't want. So you can kind of sort of adjust the service to your needs. Uh, this box costs a little bit more than $35 a month. I can't really remember. The price just recently went up but I'll put something in the video here to show you guys that. But overall, like I said, I love this service. If you guys collect retro video games, this is definitely a good box, uh, if you, especially if you're starting out a collection. Um, like if you have a bunch of games like I do, then you might wanna expect to get fillers uh, in this box, but you know, that's perfectly fine. You usually always get extra value in this box, so that's a positive. So without further ado, let's go ahead and let's open up the December Retro Game Treasure Box and let's see what we got. Like I said, um, I don't like this one as much as Video Games Monthly, uh, but mainly because uh, with Retro Game Treasure, you're kind of like, there's only one tier to get. So you get three to five games in this box, where Video Games Monthly, you can uh, subscribe to get up to 10 games a box, which I actually really like. Uh, I wish that they had different services where you could get more games out of this box as well. But nonetheless, this is still a good service. So let's uh, open this up. We've always got some packing pillows on the top here to help keep those retro video games safe. And maybe I should mention real quick before I pull out the first game, I can get games for the Game Boy, the NES, Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, GameCube, and I also think I have Sega CD checked off, even though I haven't gotten a Sega CD game in a long time, which is fine. I've got a bunch of Sega CD games. All right, so first up, I feel a Super Nintendo game, which is always great. So I'll show you guys first, like usual. The back of the game looks really, really good, so that's a positive. All right, so we have Clay Fighter on the uh, Super Nintendo. I think I have Clay Fighter 2 or Clay Fighter Terminated Edition on the uh, Super Nintendo. Uh, Clay Fighter, it's an interesting fighting game. Uh, the art style is really neat. It's kind of like that, uh, you know, clay-like figures, hence the name Clay Fighter, I guess. Uh, but it's not the best fighting game in the world, but it's got some unique characters, and it's fun to put in play sometimes. Um, I actually haven't played the original Clay Fighter in a long time, so I'm going to look forward to that. And like I said, I'm always happy to add Super Nintendo games. Overall, cart looks in good shape, so there's not a lot to complain about. Alright, so next up, we have a NES game, so that's awesome. I have not been adding very many NES games to my collection lately. I have over 630 NES games, so it's getting harder to find games for that. Uh, but there still are several cheap ones that I need, so I'm guessing this is one of them. Once again, back cart looks good. I'll show you guys first so you can see what it is there. I'm always stoked to get an NES game. Uh, so we have The Last Starfighter on NES. So unfortunately, I do have this game. So I'll have to check and make sure I have it checked off on their database. But I'll be honest with you, most of the time, I would say probably an easy 80, 85% of the time, I get duplicates. It's my fault. But this is still a cool uh, duplicate to get. I love this movie. One of my favorite uh, movies when I was a kid. Uh, but the uh, game is not the best. But still, nonetheless, cool to get. And even though I have it, this is in great shape. So this would be good to trade with somebody or sell. Who knows? But I'm still happy to get it, and we'll see if, you know, it's my fault, which I'm pretty sure it probably is. So, I filled two Game Boy games in here. So, at least, even though I got a duplicate, we still have a chance to get three unique games in this box. So, I'll show you guys the Game Boy game first. Hopefully, you can make that out pretty good. It's always harder to get these uh, small games to show well. Alright, so we have Monster, Monster Truck Wars on the Game Boy. So I don't know about you guys, but I used to love going to monster truck rallies when I was a kid. And uh, I also really love playing the games. There's still some even today that I enjoy. Uh, so I wonder if this will play similar to some of the NES games. It'll be interesting to put this in and try it out. And once again, this card is in really, really good shape. 
So I'm really stoked about that. That's probably the one I'm looking forward to most so far. So the last Game Boy game, are we going to go out on a high note or is this going to be a whimper? You will find out before me. And of course, opinions will vary. All right, so we have Boomer's Adventure Asmic World. I'm not really sure exactly what this is. I have never played this. Doesn't look super familiar to me. That character looks slightly familiar, but that could be for various reasons. Uh, but yeah, I would say this is a positive. Um, I always like ending the box on a game that I have no clue what it is. It's gonna be fun to put that in and see what it is. That's it, nothing else in the box except for our, uh, you know, words and stuff in there. So we'll throw that down to the side. So overall, what do I think about this box? I absolutely love it like usual. I'll try to put something in the video here showing you guys what all these games are worth according to price charting, you know, as far as currently goes, of course. Uh, so the Game Boy games are probably definitely the ones I'm looking forward to trying the most. If you guys have played these, let me know what they are. I'm uh, pretty familiar with Clay Fighter and The Last Starfighter. Uh, but these guys, I know little to nothing about. I would have to say probably the Monster Truck game is what I'm looking forward to playing the most. But let me know down in the comments what you guys thought about this box. What was your favorite game in this box? Do you feel like this stuff was worth about, uh, I think it's like $37 now if I'm correct. But yeah, I enjoyed it. And uh, guys, I just want to say that's probably going to do it. But first I want to say thank you. I appreciate you. If you know anybody who might like this kind of content, share the video around. Always looking to grow the channel a little bit. But for now, I'm probably going to go play some video games, maybe open up some boxes, try to enjoy the rest of my evening, and I hope you do too. So until next time, you guys, I'll see you later.